All right, my people, now welcome back to Critics News. Finally, they say that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, will be Mazen Namdekano, don't finally get access to meet his doctors because I earlier told you guys that uh, DSS, the blocker, make it for no meeting doctor. But as I they talk, they say later, uh, can't allow him uh, making meeting doctors quickly. And then they say that um, they are still working on how to <laughs> arrest uh, this uh, Yaya Bello, former governor of um, Kogi State. Where we say they say he loot billions of Naira when they take the, I don't know what they take they do. I don't know where on a one carry money go. Money where they give, may they, they settle every problem on a carry and pull for pocket. One person, only one person. After that, so when they blame Oibo people, say, oh, they can't colonize Africa. No, Oibo still, they tell these people, made them thief money. Now, one thing where I don't understand. No, only Nigeria, you go to hear the kind of money where they thief. You say, go to wonder. Other countries, I know they hear them. No, only Nigeria, they colonize. I be British people no colonize India. But you know, could they hear say politicians loot this kind of money for there? No, only for Nigeria. How do you go? Anyways, uh, they say that Barista Aloy Jumako, special counsel for the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has said that the Department of State Services, DSS, has, on, has finally allowed Nam Dekano access to his doctor on Wednesday. Ejimako, however, said that the preliminary uh, report of the doctor's examination of Kano presented complex medical conditions that required that the IPOB leader should urgently be taken to a hospital for a more detailed diagnosis. The lawyer who made this known in a message sent to Sarah reporters disclosed today DSS finally allowed her name the Kano's physician to see him. The doctor's preliminary report presented complex medical conditions that require that Nam De Kano be taken to a hospital for proper uh, diagnosis. This will follow a report that will be sent to the DG of uh, DSS by the doctor. Sarah reporters had reported how Ejimako on Tuesday expressed concern over Kano's deteriorating health. Ejimako told Sarah reporters that Kano was experiencing shortness of breath, low blood pressure, and general malaise. He stated that Kano requested medical attention from his personal physician and subsequently his legal team submitted a formal request to the DSS to grant access, you know, to grant Kano access to his doctor. However, when the doctor arrived at the DSS headquarters on Tuesday, he was denied access to Kano. Kano is facing trial on terrorism charges leveled against him by the then president Muhammad Buhari's administration over his call and agitation for a sovereign state of Biafra. Kano was extraordinarily renditioned from Kenya in June 2021 by former president of the country, Muhammad Mbuare's government, and he has remained in detention of the DSS since that 2021. Can't reach now when me, they talk to you. Nothing will they never do. No kind court will they never go for Nigeria. But yet, the government of Nigeria have refused to release the man making the going house. Hmm. Get a CBO. Anyways, let me know with you now the reason follow the matter. Since they don't allow him to uh, make his scene doctor, may they still continue to allow him make him receive in a treatment properly for the hospital where they say he need to go. Anyway, I see they be so... Hmm. They say the kind thing we who be Lord this time around, no be smart, you know. See, the whole and tie to, in fact, eh? <laughs> it remains small when they begin the press neck, and then, and then they press a neck now. See, I don't know the kind thing. See, all those uh, business, what they say they do, say now they take the cover um, evil. They take and they cover some kind why you rule things when in they do. My people, they don't read do. Make one hear from very dark man when he been the talker. Uh, breaking news, B Lord is now in the police cell. Um, as he was picked up, as he was detained today. Yes. So, Billard, um now when you don't enter there, let me go back to all what you have been saying. Because I complain to you, say, make you work on your services. Say, people, they cry, say, your platform, they collect money for their hands. See your response. Very dark man, your papa. 
tell your mumu people where they complain, make them enter our office for Asaba, blah, blah, blah. Then you ended up with not be me and you go to do all these ones. I am too influential to drag you. Office is widely open. Let me read the other one. The lack of money can make one turn to a nuisance. I pray for you today. You shall never be like very dark man. I love Edo. <laughs> very dark man. He tagged me, your papa. I know you are very influential. Now, once you get the influence, but you get money, Ali. You get money when you come out now, eh? you go humble. Those people where they ginger you. You go humble now. This one room. This one room where they see. Plenty of now go learn. I'm not go learn the hard way. All what you needed to do was fix your customer service. Pride. My papa, I see the post every time. No problem. <laughs> Tomorrow they'll start with your accounts. When they load all your accounts for you, they will load it from head to down. Do you understand? They go load down. And to the other people where they do business, they complain to you if you like. You know, say you're under one or two things. Rick. And the Abuja, you say you get influence. Your influence no rich Abuja, you say you're influential. Who gave you that influence? <laughs> he who laugh, laugh, laugh. Oh, and for the people who say, he's happy he's bringing somebody down. No. The boy is too proud, you know? Simple thing, fix the people's problem. All I needed to do was to take a petition and pressure them to bring him on. <laughs> we'll see who they mad. When you come on now, your body go cool. This your be like, go cool down. You go humble. You will learn. When I see you will learn, and you will learn the hard way. Now, be this. <laughs> All right, I'm on. I see I'm all about to since that time. Oh, they see who be Lord now. So they talk to you. He still there inside the Kiri Kiri now. I'm breaking. He still there inside Kiri Kiri as so they talk to you now. EFCC now. No, no, be EFCC this time. They say now police anti crime anti gene gene fraud unit. See now then hold on. Be Lord, do my people make one they put on our hands for clean clean something so that when anybody enter on our house. <laughs> You go see and say nothing to nothing to do here. You go just get out. So when you they talk to people, you go they talk with authority. But when you don't commit crime, my brother, your mouth self go weak. And so you they be. Anyways, um, a lawyer for the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) has disclosed that the agency is working with other security agencies to extract former Kogi Governor Yaya Bello from government house in Lokoja, the state capital. Ona de si wala. And at the same Yahaya Bello, <laughs> when EFCC won arrest that day, then police can't stop EFCC from arresting the same person. Nine EFCC now they tell us say they are working to extract him. How? With which sister agency a big brother agency on they work with? <laughs> you just they play for this country. Bello is facing prosecution alongside his nephew, Ali Bello, Dauda Suleiman, and Abdul Salam Hudu. On 19 count charges bordering on money laundering to the tune of 80.2 billion naira. As part of its ongoing investigation, the anti graft agency had stormed Bello's residence in Abuja in, attempt, in an attempt to arrest him. But Governor Usman Ududu subsequently arrived at Bello's residence and prevented the anti graft agency from picking up his former boss. EFCC later declared Bello's whereabouts unknown. And placed him on a watch list. Story. <laughs> a governor who came in and picked up somebody who has been on corruption list. Is that not corruption? Only that very act. Is that not the, the root of corruption? We are not ready to work in this country, honestly. However, EFCC led counsel Kemi Pinheiro San informed the court on Wednesday that the prosecution on its part would make the necessary arrangement to bring the former governor to court. Pinheiro stated that the commission was making effort to liaise with other sister security agencies to extract the defendant from the Kogi State Government House, where he is hibernating. <laughs> you see, they hibernate for, for Kogi State Government. Ah, also, on Wednesday, Justice Mekanwit of the Federal High Court in Abuja as the Legal Practitioners Dis Dis Disciplinary Committee, LUPDC, to investigate Bello's lawyers for pro professional misconduct. The lawyers, Abdul Wahab, Mohamed, San, and Adeola Adedipe, San, were accused of 
reneging on their undertakings to produce the former governor for arraignment. Justice Winte affirmed that the two senior lawyers failed to bring their client for arraignment against their assurances and undertakings before the court. Ordinarily, I would have taken this matter head on, but I would prefer to refer the matter to the Lego Practitioners Disciplinary Committee to propose necessary recommendation and necessary sanctions against the councils, he said. So, the people won't give shorty, made them produce Yaya Bello now. They no produce him. His two lawyers now will sign um, this thing for him. Shorty for him. <laughs> They don't even conquer. This country, we are just some crews. People, when the judge go sentence to prison, sentence them immediately. When they go there, go they bear where for where. <laughs> we are still playing hanky panky. And the judge is telling you, oh, I would have taken it head on, but uh, let us refer it. Where you are referring it, Governor Bello don't already know that. <laughs> At the end of the day, now nothing will happen. They go settle. I beg you, this country, hey, don't tire me. Make a first man, hey, no forget, sha. Hey, anybody will be saying once some money go Nigeria, I beg. I hey, no forget to use tap tap send na better app. We go for you stay wire money go Nigeria. The good thing about this app be say if you use my promo code, will be critics news when they see for screen there, they go give you five pounds for those of now day for UK, five euros for anybody will be say day for any European Union countries, then ten dollars. For those who day for USA or even Canada and 25 AED for those of an away day for Dubai. So don't miss this opportunity. Very easy, fast, reliable, and also they go do them for free for the very first time when they send money plus this money on top of your money. They are rich. Now, Baba, let me tell you that one. So I go see you now for the next one. Don't go nowhere. <laughs>